G'day guys, my name is Dave Tran and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'll be teaching you Major Lazer's new single, Cold Water, featuring Justin Bieber. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you two different ways of playing this song. The first way will be the studio version, and the second way will be an easier strummed version for more of the beginners out there. So apparently Ed Sheeran co-wrote this song, and unsurprisingly, it's an amazing track. Ed Sheeran cannot write a bad song. So anyway, let's get into it. So for the basics of the studio version, you'll need your guitar in standard tuning and capo on the ninth fret. It's up pretty high, but this will be the easiest way of playing it. There's five chord shapes that you'll need to know for this song. Now, if you want to master your chords back to front, then head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. So the five chord shapes are A minor, C, E minor, F, and finally G. So typical of pop songs these days, the whole song is just four chords over and over. But I'm going to teach you the riff. So the four chord progression that the riff is built off is A minor, C, E minor, and F. So we're going to be finger picking this song. You can pluck it as well, but I prefer to finger pick this one. Now for the finger picking basics, your thumb is going to take care of the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings, and your index, middle, and ring finger are going to take care of the third, second, and first strings respectively. They shouldn't go anywhere else, they should just take care of their own strings. So starting with the A minor shape of this riff, and you're basically just going to pluck the top four notes of the chord. So starting with the bass note on the fifth string, and you pluck fifth, fourth, third, and second. And you do that fairly quickly, and it'll sound like this. Now you don't want to let those notes ring out. As soon as you hit your last note, you just want to mute, like that. So that's it for the A minor, and then we get to our C chord shape. Now for the C shape, we're gonna hit the fifth string, fourth string, third string, and then the first string. We're gonna skip the second string and go to the first string. So it'll sound like this. And again, you don't let them ring out. As soon as you've hit that last one, just mute all the strings. Be sure to note that with the C, the first bass note is held out a bit longer. So far we have this. Then we get to E minor, and we're just going to be plucking the top four strings of that chord. So we start with the bass note of the E minor shape, which is the sixth string, fifth string, fourth string, and then third string. And it'll sound like this. And again, don't let the strings ring out. As soon as you've hit that last string, just mute everything. And then we get to our last chord shape, the F. So we go sixth string, and that's going to be held on for longer than the others. And then fifth string, fourth string, third string, and then end on the fourth string. So the F will sound like this. And a bit slower. So altogether, the first line of that riff will sound like this. Now you play that line three times and then you play another line with a minor variation. Now everything is exactly the same, the only difference is the last note. So instead of going back to the fourth string on this last note, what we're going to do is lift our middle finger and lift the bar from that bar chord and pluck the open third string. So the F will sound like this in the last line. Now that's the basic bones of the riff, but if you want to add a little extra, then I suggest adding this percussive slap to the riff. Basically, you're going to add a slap to the end of each chord, except for the F. The slap will be just before the last note. So for example, the A minor will go, and you just slap after that. Now for the finger picking slap, all you're basically doing is dropping your finger picking hand onto the strings like that, and it'll give just that percussive sound. You don't have to do anything extra or fancy. And then when you do the C, exact same thing. At the end of that C, you slap. Same with the E minor. And then when we have the F, it's going to be just before the last note. So it's in between the last note and the second last note. Like that. And one more time. So that's what I personally suggest you do for the riff. It might be a bit harder for the beginners out there, but it sounds 10 times better. So now I'm going to play that at 75 and 100% speed with a close-up of my picking hand.
So that's it for the main riff that is played basically throughout the whole song. But for my version, I'm going to add a strumming pattern into the chorus to make it sound a bit bigger. Now we do have a very tiny pre-chorus, however, which is very easy. It's just a G chord. And it's as simple as that. Now that's held out for just four beats, and then we get into the chorus. Now the chorus is going to be the same four chords. So A minor, C, E minor, and F. Now the strumming pattern that we're going to have here will be down, down, up, slap, down, 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 up, slap, down, up, and a bit slower. Down, down, up, slap, down, 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 up, slap, down, up. Now the slap is more or less a down strum, and I've had a few questions regarding this strumming slap, but basically when I strum down, at the same time my palm is hitting all the strings, and by doing that, you only get a muted sound and nothing rings out like that. So the palm is coming down at the same time as you stroking the strings and that's the slap. Now for each strumming pattern there's going to be two chords. Now the point at which you change from the A minor to the C and the E minor to the F is going to be on the third down strum in that strumming pattern. So it'll sound like this. Down, down, up, slap. Down, 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 up, slap. Down, up, down, down, up, slap. Down, 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 up, slap, down, up. And that just repeats over and over again in the chorus. So I'll play that a bit quicker. Down, down, up, slap, down, 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 up, slap, down, up, down, down, up, slap, down, 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 up, slap, down, up. Now the last thing I'm going to teach you in the studio version is the synth riff that gets played in the chorus. So for this, I'm going to take the capo off and we're going to be playing with no capo, alright? So we're going to start with the 11th fret of the 3rd string with our ring finger. You're going to pluck that once and then go to the 9th fret of the 3rd string with your index finger. And then you're going to hammer back on to the 11th fret. And then our next note is the 11th fret of the 4th string and so far we have. And then our next run starts with our middle finger on the 12th fret of the top string. And then you're going to get your ring finger and put that on the 12th fret of the 5th string and get that ready too. So we'll hit that 6th string on the 12th fret twice. And then we'll hit the 5th string on the 12th fret. And then with our index finger we'll put that on the 11th fret of the 4th string and hit that. So that 4 note run will sound like this. And then the next bar will go down to the 9th fret of the 4th string and we'll hit that and then 11th fret with our ring finger and then back to the 9th fret and then we hit the 9th fret of the string above so that 4 note run goes you repeat that 4 note run twice and it'll sound like this and all together for the first line we have this The second line of notes is quite similar to the first. The start is where it differs a little bit. We're going to start on the 11th fret of the 4th string, and then we're going to go to the 9th fret of the 5th string, and the 12th fret of the 5th string. And each one of those notes is going to be held out for a while. And then we're going to do that 4 note run that we did in the first line, which starts on the 12th fret of the 6th string. Now the last bit of the second line is exactly the same as the last bit of the first line. That sounds like this. Altogether, the riff at 75 and 100% speed will sound like this. Now we're going to move on to the easy version for the beginners out there. So for the easy version we're going to need our capo on the second fret of the guitar. Now for this easy strummed version we're going to have five different chord shapes. Those chord shapes will be E minor, G, B minor, C and finally D. 
So our general chord progression throughout the whole song, verse, chorus, and bridge, will be E minor, G, B minor, and C. The beginners should adopt this strumming pattern. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Now for each strumming pattern, you're gonna have two chords. So E minor to the G is in one strumming pattern. B minor to the C is in one strumming pattern. And the point at which you change chords is gonna be on the third down strum. So we go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. And faster. And the pre-chorus is simply just going to be the D chord, just strummed and held out. Now when we get to the chorus, my suggestion is to adopt this new strumming pattern that we used in the studio version. That sounds like this. Down, down, up, slap, down, 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 up, slap, down, up. And the point at which you change chords is the third down strum again. So it sounds like this. Down, down, up, slap, down, 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 up, slap, down, up, down, down, up, slap, down, 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 up, slap, down. And faster. Now I'm going to be playing all the main sections of the song. I'm going to have a vocal track on top for some context. So I encourage you guys to play this bit back as many times as you want. Practice and see how you go. Everybody gets high sometimes, you know. So be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. If you've enjoyed this lesson and you want to see more in the future, then it would mean so much if you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave your thoughts, comments and questions below, and I'll see you next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.